Hello everyone. In this trick number 93, I am going to tell you some special sequences and how you can find the sum of all the terms given in that particular sequence. This is very important uh, in competitive exams and also useful for class 11 students wherein they study the topic of sequences and series. So I will start with one very important concept, very interesting concept first. Say we have the squares of two consecutive natural numbers. Say we have 8 square and 7 square. Now these are two consecutive natural numbers 7 and 8 and I want to find the difference of their squares. Now for finding the difference of squares of two consecutive natural numbers, you don't actually need to find the squares, just add their bases, you get the answer. Quite amazing, isn't it? Yes, by just adding the bases, you can find the squares and also find the difference between these two squares in a single step in just a matter of one second. So, let us take two, three examples. Say we have 23 square minus 22 square. Now, if you calculate 23 square and 22 square, then find the difference. You will take at least 10 to 12 seconds. But your answer is 45. You can directly write the answer as 45 just by adding the basis. Yet another. Say we have 98 square minus 97 square. Now, this is, these are the large squares. You, uh, you don't usually remember the squares of such large numbers. So you need to have this shortcut up your sleeves. So 195 will be the answer. Now come to some special sequences. Say we have natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on up to we have n terms. Now n can be any natural number, say we have 100 terms, 50 terms, 150 terms, 2000 terms, 1 lakh terms and so on. You can find the sum of all these natural numbers starting from 1 obviously by using the formula n that is the highest number multiplied by its consecutive natural number and dividing the result by 2. Example, say we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus we have to find the sum up to 50. Now the answer will be 50 multiplied by 51 divided by 2 which is just cancel this 25 times. So 51 into 25 1 to 75 will be the required result. Now using this particular sequence you can find the sum of some special sequences like if you have only the even numbers say 2, 4, 6 you have n terms like this. Now these are even numbers. Now actually even numbers are multiples of 2. So if you take out 2 common from this you will be having this sequence as I have told you in fourth part. So just get rid of this 2, n into n plus 1 will be your answer for adding first n even natural numbers. Say example, you have 2, 4, 6, like this you have 50 terms. Now 50 terms, the final number here will be 100 because you, have, you are taking only the even numbers. So your answer will be you have 50 terms. So 50 into 51 will be your answer for this. So this will be 2550. Similarly, when you have to find the sum of first n odd numbers, say 1, 3, 5, so on, and you have n terms of odd numbers. Now this is again a very very simple concept. If you observe here, if we take two, two odd numbers, first two odd numbers, the sum is 4 and that is 2 square. If you take three odd numbers, the sum is 9, that is 3 square. So here if you take 
n odd numbers the sum will be n square very very simple and for example if you are taking the odd numbers say we have first 25 terms like this 135 if you write 25 terms your answer will be 25 square 625 you don't need to add all the odd numbers individually now we here we have taken all the natural numbers now i take the squares say i have the squares of all natural numbers 1 square 3 square 4 square 3 uh, 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square and so on and i have n square say i have taken first n natural numbers whose squares are to be added now again for adding the squares we just need to remember one small step that is the first term is n its consecutive is n plus 1 then double n plus 1 and divide by 6 this is the shortcut for finding the sum of squares of first n natural numbers so if you want to add the squares up to say i take 20 now these are 20 terms so n the value of n is 20 n plus 1 is the consecutive of n so 21 Double of n means 40, and plus 1, 41, and just divide by 6. So here you can have this factor cancelled out. So your answer will be 2870. You don't need to find the squares individually. Just remember the shortcut and find the sum of the squares of first. n natural numbers similarly you have the formula for finding the sum of cubes this is again very very easy and if you remember the formula for finding the sum of first n natural numbers n n plus 1 by 2 then you can remember this also because in this shortcut we just write n n plus 1 by 2 which is the same formula here and we find the square of this to find the shortcut for obtaining the sum of cubes of first n natural numbers the example if i am taking one cube two cube three cube i have to add the cubes up to say i take 15 so no need of finding all the cubes here just write 15 its consecutive 16 and divide by 2 then find the square So two cancels out. Fifteen into eight is one twenty, and the square of one twenty is one double four double zero. So fourteen thousand four hundred is what we obtain by finding the cubes of first fifteen natural numbers. So these are some amazing sequences through which you can find complex calculations within a matter of three to four seconds only, and shortcuts of this kind help you save a lot of time in competitive exams so students keep learning keep enjoying mathematics and share and subscribe the video if you like it